Hello everyone. My name is Blood Red. I wish to explain some of my horrific stories off the chat. Allow me to explain. I met this one slur on the Bronx, the sound. My first and last time in that decadent quagmire of filth they call a neighborhood. I feel sorry for anyone that lives or resides in the vicinity of that area because you will grow up to either become a drug dealer, a pimp, a hoe, or just an overall statistic. Allow me to impart these words. Avoid very bad neighborhoods when it comes to meeting women. Allow me to explain. I met this one female who was actually pretty good. She was she was really good. She was about she was tall, you know, she was like five nine, whatever. She she looked good, she was shapely and everything. But the thing was she lied about one one key thing. She lied about her marital status. Imagine me as she welcomed me in into her apartment. I sit down on the couch. All of a sudden, a few moments of you know, you know how women want to say, Oh, excuse me, but you know, I want to go in the bathroom and freshen up. Translation. I want to prep myself up so you can dick me down. That's basically what that means. So, while she was prepping her her, her physical body to be anointed in my bodily fluids, I was sitting on the couch, and then afterwards, I hear keys jingling in the doorknob. So I'm like, wait a second. So I'm sitting down, you know, chilling and whatnot, you know, doing as Blood Red does, and all of a sudden, some guy walks into the apartment. So he, he walks over to me, looks at me, and he's looking around the room. So, no, 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 don't move that shit yet. Fuck that. This is good, this is good shit right here. So he says, yo, like, yo, who are you? So I look up, I was like, who are you? Yes. So, I, yes. so, so he's like, yes. I live here. Yes. I was like, I do? saw them in the It's like, oh, I think you got a problem then, man. Because your, your old lady kind of invited me over here. So she was like, she what? It's like, yes, your female, Sandy, invited me over here to pipe her. So, so, I'm like, wait a second. We, there's, a, there's a situation going on here. So I said, you know something? I think you two have a situation that y'all need to resolve. She's like, you goddamn right we're gonna fucking resolve. We're gonna resolve this shit now. So he's in all hype or whatnot. So I said, you know something? I'm gonna take myself out the equation. So I left. As I'm walking through that decadent ass fucking neighborhood, I was like, you know what? I cannot get the fuck out this neighborhood quick enough. All of a sudden, I'm jumped by three people while walking out the neighborhood. This is this is the neighborhood. So, unfortunately... Interjection. Bitch-ass men who cannot control their wives want to fight other men, and they don't understand it's that women is causing the war. Just deal with your bitch. Stop trying to fight me. It's, it's not their fault. Exactly what he just said. Ultimately, I'm a very good fighter. But I can't hold my own like that against three people. I held my own to a degree. I really hurt two of them bad, but one of them kind of got me pretty bad. But long story short, which I failed, if you're going, if you're going to meet a female, do not go to these ghetto ass neighborhoods and hope to meet someone significant. If you really need, if you really need, if you truly need a jump off. Oh, yeah. Go there, go there with your friends. Don't go there by yourself. And carry a hammer. Exactly what he said. Oh yeah.